Alrighty, so I am going squirrel hunting in the Arapaho National Forest and I am on my way to a spot to do such an activity right now as I drive there and look up, look across this magnificent expanse of mountains. Springs right now. I'm gonna go check it out. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know why I did that. There were stairs right here I could have taken. That was stupid. My hands are cold now. Check this out. You got. I guess this is what turns it on. It's pretty wild. I just I just shot a snowshoe hare, and it's it's dying. But I put two shells in its head now, and it's still spazzing out. I forgot to bring my knife with me on the trail, and I feel so bad. It's going to be dinner, but didn't deserve to go out like this. There it is. So I'm going to show you all what this hair looks like. It's got some pretty big feet. I messed up its head pretty badly because I shot it in the head twice. Like I said, I should have brought a knife, but <sighs> lessons learned, mistakes made. So here's what it looks like. Look at that. Now I wear a nine and a half. It's got some pretty big feet. Um, so that rabbit will be good for stew or something, but I'll clean it, take it home, cook it tonight. And then maybe I'll give some to my dog. I don't know. It's been a good day, but at the end of these hunts, I always feel somber because it feels weird to celebrate killing something, to be honest. This is something that was living. Um, so. All right. <clears throat> Fuck. All right, I just got back home. I still have to kind of clean some shit and fur off this rabbit carcass that I gutted. So I'm gonna do that. And uh, then I'm gonna put it in the fridge and save it to cook tomorrow. I don't know what I wanna make out of it yet, so I'm not gonna cook it tonight. <laughs> so here's the rabbit. Very cold, because it's been outside in the cold. It's a good thing about winter. It acts as your own refrigerator when you got meat, fresh meat. I don't know how to say that without sounding weird. All right, all right, all right. So we got this. Got this rabbit carcass. As you can see, I cut off the feet and the head because that would be very creepy if I kept the head and somehow skinned it. Let's not think about that. Head's in the dumpster outside my house. The homeless people that <laughs> dumpster dive are gonna have such a nice surprise in the morning when they're looking through my dumpster and find blood and fur and all types of shit. They're gonna fucking lose their shit. It's Kind of funny to think about. Alrighty. I'm not gonna keep this bag. I would not put it back in it because there's probably like shit or something in this bag. So, still got some fur on ya. I mean, look, dude, this is creepy as fuck. I'm gonna bleed it out or. That's not what we're gonna do. It's already done that, but. I'll try to save this meat. There's tons of good meat on this, dude. Dude, I don't even think this really originally hit the rabbit that hard in my bullet. I think that gun's shooting high. If I remember correctly, off of before I sighted it in turkey season. Or I just fucking made a shit shot. That could be part of it too, for all I know. 
I felt really bad in the moment, but I feel very satisfied as well. It's a weird feeling. Oh, I think I hit it in the ass. Yep, that looks like where I hit it. I hit it in the back leg. It couldn't run or some shit. And then I came up and shot it in the head and that didn't do it any favors either. Cage out. Got to take these legs off in the back straps and then I'll have some meat for some dinner. Uh, other than that, not much more to go. So I'm not going to waste y'all's time anymore. It doesn't suck looking at it like this, but when it's still furry and stuff, it makes you a little sad. Thank you.